Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I just wanted to share with you two new digital kits that I have in the shop. And these are just like paper packs. Now, the first one has 40 pages. Yes, four zero pages. The pages are all sort of different. And this is um, the daisy flower paper set. Now you get 10 pages landscape, 10 pages portrait, and then you get 10 back pages landscape and 10 back pages portrait. Hope that made sense. So here is page number one. These pages are very colorful and I think they are very, very lovely. So we've got daisies scattered all over. We've got dragonflies and bees. Um, don't think there's any butterflies with the daisies, but beautiful, beautiful. I love how they turned out. So you can just fold these in half, throw them in your journal. And here you can see all the bees on the daisies. And every page is different, like with the 10 landscape and the 10 portrait, they are different pages. This one here has got a really nice watercolor effect on it. This one here, getting more into the purples. and I think this one here is probably my favorite page in the daisies. Let's just move these off to the side. Then we've got our portrait one. As I say, they are different pages. And I decided to do portrait and landscape because everybody's making those tall, skinny journals now. So I thought this way it gives you the option to use this because by the time you fold that in half, it's perfect. Mind you, if you take this one, I could easily fold it that way. It's not... It wouldn't be the end of the world to use it sideways like that so but there's these here are some big big daisies with the bees all over one with a little bit more color this one here is really nice I just love the way all the colors kind of blend together really like that one I really like them all This one here is nice. Love this one. And then we got some dragonflies on some of them. But just beautiful, beautiful. I love how they turned out. And then we have the background pages. Now the background pages, um, five have the lines, five don't. So the ones for the portrait are the same, but the lines and stuff are going the other way. I didn't print them all out. Um, I just printed the landscape out. But as I say, on the portrait ones, the lines go across instead of there. And these are kind of all in the same tones as the pages are in. So they should back them very nicely. I'm going to purple one in there and then kind of like a greenish. And then we've got the ones that don't have lines. So these ones, of course, going either way, it wouldn't matter. And they're kind of the same, just without the lines. 
Okay, so there is that. Let's stack those up so they don't fall all over. Then we have the same style of kit. And this one is Purple Flowers Page Set. Love this. Love, love, love. But everybody knows purple is my favorite color. Now with this one is 30 pages. We have 10 landscape, 10 portrait, and 10 backgrounds. Now on this one, I didn't put any lines on the background pages. So you use the same set for the landscape or the portrait. So there is that. And then there is one of the backs. Now with the backs, I made them all so it doesn't matter what way you put them. And then we've got this one. Of course, lots of purples and kind of going into the pinks and a um, little bit of blue in it. I just love how this turned out. And a background page. All the colors, the background pages all go so well with it. And then another one. And these are just a variety of purple flowers. These have butterflies, they have dragonflies, they have bees. So this one here, and this does have some writing. But because the writing's on a slant, you could easily go either way with it. And more purple. Love, love, love this kit. And then this one here is kind of smudged looking. And then another background. This one here, I'm starting to get into a little more pinks. With bees all over it. On the back. That one. Then we have this one. Kind of more of pinks and, and purple on the back. Then we got this one. All the dragonflies. This one's kind of a floral backed one. And then this one. <clears throat> With a nice purpley background. All the backgrounds are easily writable on. You could even write on the front of this here. You just have to pick the color of pen that would best suit it and then the tenth background then we get into the portraits and again they're the same theme but they're all are different papers this one has lots of, of ink looking stuff in the background with a variety of butterflies bees and dragonflies I didn't print on the back, so these ones yet. Another one there. And that one. So if you like purple, this is definitely the kit for you. Love this one. Love the style of the flowers and, and the combination of the colors and whatnot. Then we've got this one. This one here I like too. Just, just all the colors go so well together. Got this one. And again, I kind of did it this way so then people would have these for doing this tall skinny journals. And all of these, like, if I fold that that away, it's still going to be okay in a journal that size even though the flowers are going that way it will still work but then you can print off the 10 going the other way 
the landscape ones. But all these for a tall skinny journal would be perfect. As I say, this away, they're doable that away. And then this one's quite dark. But those are the two latest kits. I hope you like them. I know I like them. And yeah, check them out in the shop. They are on coffee as well. So I will leave links to both of those in the description, as well as other links to the Facebook group and whatnot. So check them all out and go take a look at these. Um, I think they're a heck of a good deal with how many pages you, you get. You could mix and match them in other, with other kits and add some tea dyed papers in there and whatnot. But enjoy them, and we will see you again soon. Bye.